we just checked our YouTube channel and it was amazing to see that we have 998 followers. So it's incredible. Thank you so much. That's amazing. That's <laughs> 900, 900, 998 people are watching our videos. So thank you so much and we want to say thank you with this little picture for the 1000 so we have to wait a bit but maybe we will reach it that would be great but it's, it's like it's like christmas because when you get excited for it it's half of the fun it's so while better doing than that it and while laying the 1000 i'm really i'm really happy and it's i'm really appreciative of it too yeah it's crazy hey you We're stepping in one of the zero crazy man so look at this can you see can you see what it is yes i think so i think so it's crazy thank hey. you so much welcome back guys to a new episode this time from la gomera the second smallest of the canary islands with about 22,000 inhabitants from which 8,000 people live in the capital city san sebastian in our previous episode, we set sail for a 14-hour cruise from Tenerife to La Gomera. So join us this time as we explore the wonderful nature on this island. We explored wonderful hikes, really cool viewpoints, cute little villages and had some amazing canary food. Hi from Hi! We are Pat and Frankie. A couple who ditched the 9 to 5, sold everything and set sail with zero experience. Our mission? Explore the world, discover our idea home port and establish our lifestyle brand high. Ready for the adventure? Jump aboard and be part of our journey. We got our car for Friday. Yay! And the people are very friendly here. Yeah, she was really nice. There was no problem, just it was a bit funny. It was funny, it was nice. Get some reduction. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so perfect. perfect. Perfect for both sides. Yeah. So we will pick up the car here on Friday and then we have five days of exploring. And exploring. So we have to check out everything now with what we want to explore. Yeah. But first we want to explore this rock here and a little bit of the marina surrounding. So let's check this out. I just said we never had so many beaches in walking distance to our marina like here in La Gomera. This is the second one. There's one on the other side of the marina. But this one also looks really nice. There are no people. It's like perfect black sand. So I'm sure we will go and enjoy some time at the beach. This is a small tunnel. And I think it's almost on the water level. Yeah. Well, check it out. How many traps? Oh, wow. And there's a little pool. There's the fire of the Olympic Games in 1969 or something. Yeah, we just read that the torch or the flame, whatever, was passed through the island of La Gomera on the way to Las Americas. Yeah, Mexico. So, Mexico, it was held in Me Mexico <laughs> at that year. And this symbolizes the torch that came to the island. I always wanted to climb up to an Olympic fire. Huh? Here you are in La Gomera. So enough sports for today. It smells like pee. Oh yeah.
We just saw this cute outdoor gym. It looks really nice. We'll definitely come here for a workout session. It's a nice park here. Yes. The palms are amazing. And it smells nice. Beautiful. We are on the way to a boat shop. What else? <laughs> and we'll get some breakfast. Wait, I will wait. And we have stumbled upon this park here, which is really nice. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> the king himself. And it's quite nice what um, the city has kind of made. There are some really nice and modern um, public places. We've got a good impression of San Sebastian for what we've seen. Yeah, very nice. It looks like the community takes care of the public places. Yeah. Like for example, this guy mowing the lawn. No, it's really cute. And here is the cafe. It's also very clean. Yeah. Hola! <laughs> Cortado. Dos Cortado. Oh, Cortado. Vamos, vamos. Today we are off to explore the island. We picked up our key. Now we're looking to find the car. We have to try which one it is. But I don't think it's this one. Because the window is open. Hola! We have got our car and we are on the road to explore. And today we are going to... We are going to do a hike. Ah. We are going to do a hike in some kind of fairy forest that might look a little bit like Madeira. We have we haven't watched too many pictures, so we are excited what we will what we will see. see. <laughs> but well, it's still early. The whole city is talking about this person, and this person is Christopher Columbus because he started one of his trips from La Gomera and that's the reason why he's standing there. That's the reason why they put two million euros in a monument. Yeah, and here in the back you can see San Sebastian and the Tide on Tenerife. And look at the streets, they are wonderful here. It's very good to drive at the moment. And Frankie is happy because we have a car and we can explore. So behind this, there should be a hero. And look at this. Here is the tide again. And on this side is La Palma. And this is the view after five minutes of hike. It's amazing. Wow. Thank you. 
La Gomera is well known for its beautiful hikes, and this we can confirm. From this wonderful viewpoint we could see the island La Palma, Tenerife, and maybe at some days you have a chance to also see El Hierro. Coming from the ocean and driving up the mountain, it was so interesting to see how wet and humid the National Park of La Gomera was. Driving and hiking through the island, you can see different zones of vegetation. It was so interesting to see the difference between the palm trees and cactuses and the humid and wet forests in the National Park. These woods really feel like out of a movie. Who made this street? I don't know, it's, but it's beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful and it's handmade. It's crazy. It's actually crazy that you can drive here with a car. There was just a car coming down this road. It's a nice drive. Yes, it's it for is. the ones that don't want to walk. <laughs> so the, how do you say? The lazy couch potatoes. Ones. The lazy ones. <laughs> wow. Look at this. Yeah. So nice. Well, we had a bit more than the half of our hike. And there were a lot of highlights. That's nice. What was your highest highlight? My highest highlight <laughs> and was the viewpoint to the La Roche. To the La Roche. Yeah, and to the Tide and to Gran Canaria and La Palma and wow, this was amazing. You had the, the view over the island. That was really nice. That was also my highlight, plus our lunch with wow. the view. That was, the self-made mm. lunch was incredible. Oh, yeah. we didn't film it, that's how good it was. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I inhaled it. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Ah. The typical I'm a crotter.
how does this? Good. Mm. Now I have to try it. This is a curry. Mm -hmm. This is, I think, a soup with pepperoni. Mm -hmm. This is a sauce, but I don't know which one. <laughs> and that's a salad. Yeah. That's this, easy. There's banana in it. Yeah, and cucumber. Wow. So we're trying the typical cuisine today and yeah. we have no idea what it is. So it tastes really nice. The soup is undefinable. It tastes really herbal. It's some kind of cress, I think, watercress soup it's called. And this um, puree, I don't know what it tastes like. Maybe also some corn and it's all vegetable. So no meat. <laughs> But it's really tasty. Definitely. And the sauce is made out of paprika, like a mo mojo, mm -hmm. oil. Mm -hmm. And there are bananas in the salad. Very interesting, but it tastes nice. Hello, we are now in Hamigua and we just read something really interesting about this little village. It was said to have the best climate in the whole world because the temperatures are really steady. They never drop below 15 degrees and in summer never above 30. And it's quite humid here because of the wind that comes from the sea. So it's a really good climate. Inex. Haha, ha, ha, Lele. haha, <laughs> Lele, the good climate here. Look at the palms. What? Where? Down here? Yeah. They make the palm honey. The palms in the valley? Valley. No, I think it's really a nice climate here. <sighs> We are having a curvy ride. I don't know if you can see this, but the street is like jung, 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 jung. and it says seven more kilometers until we get to our next destination, but it's taking us 32 minutes. Yay! <laughs> Crazy! But we always have a beautiful view. That's the swimming pool we're going to, babe. Ah, okay. It's close to the... How do you call that? Where the big ships used to dock for the bananas. A dock. A dock. A banana dock. This view is really, really nice. And look how clear the water is. Yeah, wow. There. What are these terraces? I think they were used to grow stuff. Okay, now let's go to the Mirador del Abrate or something like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited if the view is better than over there. Where we've just been, which was perfect. But 
Let's check it out. And no, we are not in Australia, even though the soil looks red. We are in Agulo, a small village on La Gomera. <laughs> in the north of La Gomera. This is the city center of Agulo. Babe, what time is it? Let me check. Time for lunch. Ten minutes past. <laughs> but okay, it's lunch time. <laughs> this is so strange. There are so many ruin houses here. Yeah. We have to find out what is the the matter with these houses yeah. we've been thinking if it were like old people that died and then nobody looked after the house or if it's nobody wants to live here it's so strange there's so many and you could do so much with it and the location is also not too bad because right next to it there's a beautiful renovated house Next week we will take you along for part 2 of our La Gomera adventures as we explore an abandoned swimming pool, some lost places on the island, inhabited caves and more delicious food. This island has surprised us in all different ways. Thanks for watching guys and hit subscribe to not miss next week's video.